The snowfall is coming to a stop in the district. The snow forced school closings, work delays and affected Metro bus schedules. But it also gave people a reason to get out there and have a little fun. Got to have fun in the snow, right? And take a look at this. News 4's Mark Seagraves right here with a snowball in hand. You know, Mark, this is brave territory for a reporter because sometimes oh, during yes. these live snowball fights, things don't go so well for uh, the reporter. <laughs> You know, I got to tell you, the rules of engagement clearly <laughs> state that they should not throw snowballs at small children, pets, reporters, or police. <laughs> and so we want to make sure everybody adheres to that. I don't want to be confused as an armed combatant. The only reason I'm holding a snowball is because my cameraman has a snowball in his hand, and I'm trying to keep him honest. This has been a tradition dating back more than 10 years. It wouldn't be D.C. snow without a snowball fight. Across the district, wherever there was a hill, there were kids of all ages with their sleds, from Capitol Hill to Upper Northwest. The snow started falling in the early morning, but by the time the sun came up, most of D.C.'s main roads were cleared. The snow came in overnight. We've had crews out since midnight. As you can see, a lot of our major roadways are already cleared all the way down to the blacktop. As we clear the major roadways, our snow crews, we have over 100 crews out. They're going to start moving on to secondary roads and then neighborhood roads. And that's going to take us some time as the snow continues to come down and as we hit the heaviest period of snow. We're going to have crews on until at least midnight tonight. Uh, not just plowing and, and, and checking on the hot spots, but pre-treating. Um, we're optimistic that the, most of the roads will be clear tomorrow morning when we start out the day. By midday, most of the side streets have been cleared as well, which was good news for folks who have to be out on the roads, like delivery drivers. And metro buses, which are operating on a modified schedule today. In Northeast, Carl Schmidt has been clearing the same stretch of sidewalks since 1985. He's honed his technique so as not to overdo it. Well, I push it. I don't lift it. That's the key. I push. I have a pusher here, uh, a shovel that will push. Yeah. And not lift. And that. And that. That keeps you healthy. It seems, seems to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's your advice to people today? <laughs> Get it done early. Because <laughs> this is a wet snow. And wet snow gets hard if people walk on it. And speaking of walking on the snowpack sidewalks, <laughs> remember to be careful. As for the organized snowball fights DC has become known for, it's all fun and games until it's not. In 2009, a D.C. police officer pulled his gun after being pelted during an organized snow battle at 14th and U Streets. Yeah, so it's on down here at Franklin Square at 13th and K Street. More than 100 people already showed up. Uh, you know, this has been, uh, as I said earlier, has been an organized event since 2010. They have their own Facebook page where you can keep up with updates anytime one of these things uh, is going to happen. They uh, choose their location. It always changes location uh, every time there's a snow fight. Uh, but again, they'll be down here until 7 o'clock tonight, so plenty of time for you to get your gloves and get on down here. A couple of important notes uh, to be serious about. One, if you're at home and you're unable to shovel your own sidewalk, you can call 311 in the district and the snow heroes will come out, volunteers who will come out and they will shovel your sidewalk and your stairs for you. You can actually volunteer for that if you want to as well. Also, there was no snow emergency declared today, so you are clear to park on most of the streets around the district. From Franklin Square, where the snowball fight is well underway. Back to you guys. Hey, uh, Mark Mittens Snowgraves, uh, I see you only, you only have uh, one glove on there. I mean, did someone hit you with a snowball too while we were watching? I mean, did someone hit you with a snowball too while we were watching? Uh, I did get hit one by my my cameraman and then one by someone who hasn't read the rules of engagement yeah. about not throwing snowballs at reporters. Those <laughs> are clearly stated yep. in the rules down yep. here. Uh, this is this it's is an the absolute rule. This is the assignment uh, you don't so want. We are down here though, and I, I will say that I had to take off my glove to get my phone on so that I could hear you guys. Otherwise, I'd have both of my gloves on. There you